good morning. Today I'm down in Battersea Park in London. I've got a 15 by a kilometre workout to do in these, the new uh, Vaporfly 3 from Nike. Haven't run in them just yet. I've had a little bit of a calf niggle over the last week. So I've been itching to give these a go. Should be all good to go today, see how we get on. I'm gonna be doing the workout with uh, Nick Bester, who's a 220 marathoner. Um, I've come down to London, especially today, to train with him. Um, one thing I learned from being out in Kenya is that uh, to train as a group, uh, it really helps push you on. So I'm hoping that his speed um, will push us on today. So the workout is 15 by a K with 90 seconds recovery. We're gonna start the first five reps at around 3.15. The second set of five are going to be at 3.10 and then the last five at 3.05. So hopefully get down towards 5.10k pace towards the end in these new shoes. See how we get on. Okay, all set to go. Just going to do a bit of a warm up, probably three or four kilometers. And then we're going to meet Nick and uh, get stuck into this 15 by K workout. I've got 18 days now until Boston Marathon. So this is pretty a pretty key workout. Probably got maybe two or three workouts left. Um, so I'm keen for this one to go well. Um, let's go get started. Wait for the old GPS. <laughs> Really? It's not it's not fully like okay, but okay. Can, it's about like one or two out of ten in total. Okay. So okay. I'm sure we'll, we'll take together. one or two. You yeah. you you done your warm up? Yeah, done the warm up, yeah. Nice, nice, like nice. Yeah, that's a really Thank nice stuff. Thank you. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. It's one of my favourite yeah, yeah. yeah. It's got outside of the park. Yeah. Um, because it's just better than doing it on the channel. Yeah. It's quite breezy, but yeah. I think you know what, it'll be nice to actually start here. Yeah. It's quite nice with the the bend, we'll go around the bend and literally yeah. we'll go sort of like halfway up there. That'll okay. Be okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Should we do like that now and back? Yeah. Seven reps in. How you feeling, Nick? I'm feeling good. I'm ready to attack the, the second half. Yeah. How you feeling? Yeah, good. We started off at about 3.12, 3.13. Yeah. Last one was 3.10, so we're sl slowly starting to wind it down a bit, a little bit. We'll be aim at finishing it around 3.05 for the last five. That's the plan anyway. Are you good? Feeling like you can pick it up last five? Yeah, I think so. Cool. We'll, 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 we'll see. Nice. How's the shoes? Yeah, really nice. Awesome. Yeah, really good. Cool. All right. Downhill from here.
nicely, three or three. This is where there's nine seconds of fun. Five seconds. Two, one. Last stretch. Juicy. Last strip. Last strip. I've done this session a few times. Often by myself along this stretch. So it's so nice to have company. And yeah. um, you nailed this moment. Yeah, it is, bro. Honestly, really you can't ask for much more. Um, we'll get the splits up, but yeah, we'll have to definitely solid yeah. progression all the way through. I think you know it was in control. Yeah. Calf? Calf, all good. Thank God. Okay. It's 18 days out now from Boston. So. Okay. Yeah. Looking good for. How are you feeling for Boston? Yeah, good, man. Yeah. I need to do a few more hills over the next few weeks, but. Okay. Yeah, should be good to go. Woo! Inspire to run. And boom, shakalaka. <laughs> <laughs> So I just got back from my run in Battersea Park this morning with Nick. It was really good to get down there. It took about an hour and 40 minutes to, to get down to London on the train, but it was well worth it um, to train with somebody of Nick's calibre. He's run 2.20 for the marathon, I think around 65 minutes for the half marathon. For 10K, we're roughly about the same time, I think. Uh, maybe he's about five, ten seconds quicker for 10k. But when it comes to the marathon, he's a whole eight minutes quicker than me. So yeah, my advice uh, from today's video would be try to train with people that are faster than you. It really helps push you on. In today's session, the last rep was 258 per kilometer, which for me was a good seven, eight seconds quicker than I would have been comfortable running on my own solo. So it's definitely worth going down today. Liam did a really good job on the filming as well. If you want to check him out, I'll leave a link to his Instagram bio uh, down in the comments, along with Nick's. So let's jump in to today's workout. I'm going to use Nick's Strava because his Garmin uh, was the watch we went off today. So we did 15 by a kilometer. Um, with 90 seconds jog in between each rep. So let's have a little look at this if we go down here to workout analysis. Um, so the aim was for the first five reps to start at around 3.15. I think we were a little bit fast, let's have a little look. So for the first rep, 3.11, second rep, 3.12, then 3.10, and then 3.07. So yeah, those first five reps were probably a little bit quicker than we anticipated. Um, or I certainly did, but it felt nice and comfortable and in control. We did have 90 seconds recovery, which is quite a lot at that sort of pace, um, especially for only a kilometer rep. I've, I've been typically doing three kilometer reps with that sort of recovery, so I think we were recovering pretty quick, hence why the uh, speed was a little bit faster. And then for the second set of five, we averaged 310, 308, 310, 310, 310, 310 so literally like clockwork those reps um, I, we were aiming for around 310 and we pretty much hit 310 for each rep then for the last five reps we took a rep each um, Nick was kind enough to take the rep which had a bit more of a headwind he's a bit of a taller guy and a bit faster so it made sense for him to take the wind um, so I appreciate that Nick if you're watching and um, the first the first rep uh, of the last five was 305 then 305 then 303 then 303 and then our final rep um, Nick took this one and he said he was going to try and run a three minute kilometer and maybe kick down a little bit towards the end and that's exactly what he did we ran a 257 last kilometer um, for 15 by 1k so that's the workout. If you want to go check out a bit more of the stats, all the heart rate data and stuff like that, then you can go over to my Strava and see all of that. But yeah, really, really good session. The first run today in the Nike Vaporfly 3. Um, I'm going to make a completely different video about my first impressions, but I thought I'd talk you through a few of the changes that I've noticed from this model. So the midsole feels fairly similar 
to the one and two, maybe ever so slightly lighter, this model on foot, and it definitely feels a little bit softer. The foam is still Zoom X, but it's been, it's a slightly different sort of recipe of Zoom X that's supposedly even better for performance. Um, and it definitely felt a little bit softer in terms of energy return. It felt very similar to something like the one or the two. Um, it's hard to tell from just one running it if this is better than the two. The fit was really nice. Um, it's definitely a lot more breathable, this version. You can literally see through the top here uh, onto my socks. The pink socks were shining through. Um, and yeah, comfort was really, really good. The back of the heel. Uh, looks very different to the one and two. I think it's mainly just to take away some of the weight and you've got a little bit of a cut out here which you can't really feel when running but again saves on the weight and the main big difference I think between the two and the three is this outsole. Um, the outsole on this uh, shoe is a lot grippier than the one and two which is a nice um, improvement but I will say you still have quite a lot of exposed uh, Zoom X around this area here and on this midfoot section, which I expect will uh, wear down quite quickly. So in terms of durability, it's probably similar to that of the one and two. But like I said, I'll do a full review, uh, full first impressions of this shoe in the next few days. I'm off to Paris this weekend with Pure Sport and Satisfy for the Paris Marathon. I won't be actually running it, but I'll be there for a bit of a group run and some of the events surrounding the marathon. So if you're running it, uh, best of luck. Hopefully see you out there. I'm flying out tomorrow when this video comes up. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, sort of getting Liam along is really helping with that second sort of person perspective. I'm really enjoying having him down and hopefully you can see the improvement in quality. That is it for today's video. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more running related content. Make sure you check out Nick on Instagram and until next time, aspire to run, run to inspire and we'll see you again soon.